hopefully let's go craig in craig the chat is now in the chat Beautiful. thank you everybody all nice, right. yeah so as Cornell well, said talking yeah, ahead, um <laughs> we're talking uh i'm just trying to take some weight off of your speaking events you're uh you're gonna lose your voice and then what will we do um, nah, i i i'm anyways. not close to that yet um lord save us if you ever go to a concert um I'll be sitting up here in silence okay so <laughs> what's up guys we're going to be talking Digit. We're going to be talking some recent events. It's going to be a very chill, very short happy hour. Um, yeah, we uh, have a couple cool uh, teasers to show you. It wouldn't be a happy hour without at least uh, a taste of some alpha. So there's a couple teasers um, that we can share. Um, but yeah, uh, not um, not too much to go over. Just kind of hanging out. If If anyone wants to hop on stage, share some thoughts. Um, of course, any questions you guys have, then uh, we're all ears. But um, welcome. I hope your week is going well. Um, the first thing I wanted to touch on, and um, maybe Beavis has uh, a couple full uh, comments to add here, but I want everyone's attention to... Um, Mode, uh, sorry, not mode, ironclad and Aurelius activity as of late. Um, and just make sure you guys are like, um, if you're interested, you know, staying on top of those those communities because um, the last couple of weeks have been really popping off. Um, and uh, yeah, there's been a couple cool milestones hit. Um, I think Aurelius hit 4 million last week, two weeks ago, which is cool. Um, there's a there's a point surge in the stability pool that's going on. Salt earn more salt for being in the stability pool. Um, AUSD liquidity is coming to I think every major exchange on um, on Mantle, so that's cool. I think there's some on Agni right now. Um, yeah, Ironclad's at like 120 mil. There's a Zeli quest. So, anyways, I just wanted to bring your attention to. Um, those those communities, those discords, if you're not in those discord channels, um, I'd highly recommend because there's a lot of stuff going on um, as the sort of the Oath Foundation kind of makes this transition. Um, yeah, so those are the first couple things I wanted to, to touch on. Um, and Digit is what uh, sort of the main, the main um, announcement is today. So Digit, the platform, will be winding down. Um, and I think this is happening in roughly a month. So we wanted to give you guys a heads up there. There will be an official announcement, I believe, either tomorrow or um, very early next week. Um, but the platform digit will be winding down. Um, and the contract itself is getting an upgrade. For anyone who was here two weeks ago for the last happy hour, um, we mentioned um, the contract being upgraded to sort of an infinite more smooth leveling up process. Um, and so the contract isn't going anywhere. It's, it's, getting, it's, it's evolving and it's gonna be implemented in various places, but Digit, the, the, the platform itself, um, will be sort of being phased out, which is a little bittersweet. You know, I'm really happy about, um, like the contract itself is so sick, but um, I think I saw in a, a post from a uh, blockchain ecologist on Twitter uh, like last week or something, he said he he posted that he had reached the final level of digit, and it made me really happy. Oh, it was Caesar. Caesar did that. Caesar, yeah, yeah, dude, that was awesome. I think I'm I'm up there too. Um, so it's a yeah, bit. I don't know. I'm it's, I'm max maturity at the moment. Your, yeah, I was just remembering like the when it first came out, um, the little the little dudes that were like evolving with the relic, um, back when it was when it was reliquary. Um, anyways, yeah. a bit of nostalgia, uh, hit me this week, but it's, it sucks because, um, like the bear market hit and we're like, well, damn, like we can't be emitting enough tokens for reliquary to pop off. Um, because you know, there was, nobody was buying tokens. It would have just been only down. And then, um, you know, when we were finally like, okay, like the tech is really deeply integrated, we can surface some real yields. The same, you know, we we had the same problem, but um, 
now, you know, Reliquary, the, the new contract, the V2 is totally awesome. You don't have to manually level up your guys, I think is the, the well, I don't know, your relics. <laughs> uh, they're not guys right now. Um, uh, and it's just like a better experience overall. We built it specifically for Ethereum, so people didn't have to constantly go in and, uh, you know, level up their dudes. Uh, it's a lot more scalable, and we're going to start integrating this directly in um the various front end so on the earn page or the staking page for aurelius ironclad etc uh it'll just be uh, the reliquary will just be integrated um so yeah it is like uh sad and and probably will be open sourcing uh digit um for anybody to uh use reliquary and use that front end um mm, that's so, yeah. cool yeah, so that's just cool. to like be clear, you know, it's it's not like the the software, the tech isn't gonna be used anymore. It's just the front end is going away. Yeah, we should um, yeah. we should be seeing way more now that we're doing single sided staking, way more adoption of Brawl Query than ever, uh, especially in terms of TVL, um, but also in terms of just general usership. Uh, that was kind of like the dream scenario for us is is just making it the home for for the best single-sided staking ever um and now we're pretty comfortable uh going forward with that so overall net improvement kind of the mindset at the moment is we're in this difficult period of transition everybody's experiencing max pain um now is the time to make the difficult decisions in terms of like product like you know what do we what do we need our product to be what do we need it to do how do we want people to interact with it um so we're going to be ripping a bunch of band-aids off tearing them apart um and uh yeah so sorry uh uh if if you share any of our kind of nostalgic uh feelings about it yeah yeah well um sort of uh the the upside to that and the exciting thing is the single-sided staking and i have something to share for everybody um and maybe this will make you all really angry so i'm sorry about that <laughs> um so here's something that uh is my window gonna pop up maybe it'll just spin forever um but this is a little teaser um of this is the announcement of the announcement. <laughs> so please don't hate me. Um, but something is coming. And I guess this all this can make you all sort of... Um, this is your signal that, that the sort of brand announcement for new token um, and more, you know, um, what it's going to be, what it's going to look like is coming very, very soon. Um, so... And when I say soon, I'm not going to give any dates, obviously, because then the, the marketing team will, will murder me. But um, like the fact that I'm showing this and the fact that they were like, hey, maybe you can share this in the happy hour. Um, it is legitimately soon. So um, I don't know. Just get really excited. Um, this orange curtain is going to be pulled off um, in, in due time. And uh it's really dope. So uh, something's coming, guys. Uh, can I, this just adds way more hype? Exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's. Uh, can I get some? Can I get some uh, W's in the chat? Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing the graphic. That's better. I have this on pre preview on my. Computer. Yeah, you're. I don't know. Somehow you've reduced the uh, fidelity. <laughs> This is what happens Dude, when you put I'm something sorry. on Charles's PC. He runs it through like ten copies of Windows Movie Maker, uh, and then I, 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 couldn't, uh, I couldn't. I didn't know how to. Oh, I tried. The next, yeah. the next image I have is in proper format. So sorry about this, guys. You know what? Yeah, just, download more. Just look RAM. in the chat, and I'm just gonna yeah. stop. This, this I'll send you a file, Charles. It'll fix your computer. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess, uh, you know, we've, um, I mean, not only is the brand done, but uh, we've finished off the presentation that we're going to be giving a consensus all about it. Um, mm. And I guess the mindset is, you know, from the context of, of us, this is a merger of Oath and Grain. 
Um, but to the rest of the world, this is a new thing. This isn't oath plus grain. This is new token. And, you know, we're, we're not just going to be doing more of the same. Um, really, we're using this as an opportunity to clean up as much technical debt, as much brand debt as possible. And, you know, I've, I've always talked about uh, our long-term vision of just, you know, creating the ultimate uh, kind of front end uh, for DeFi, um, you know, that houses all of our applications and that houses everything we do. Um, and, you know, we're, we're able to speed run that effort uh, thanks to this merger. Already, uh, you know, the Granary and the Oath teams uh, have started merging more deeply. You know, we've still got some work to do in terms of merging like the project management and, and merging how we manage these teams. Um, but uh, ever so slowly, um, things are becoming, you know, more monolithic in that sense to the degree that we might need to split them up because it's like, you know, we're having 15 to 20 person calls uh, about kind of the new token uh, and, and the engineering effort going into it. So, um, you know, it, it's like uh, we're, we're taking along all the best things. We're leaving all of the worst things behind. Obviously, like listening to everybody's feedback times a million. And uh, we're going to be coming to the table with a lot of really powerful uh, tools and, and some really interesting supporters. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, dope, to be honest. Hmm. That's a really good point, that it is something new for the outside world. Um, and, you know, kind of related to what I was saying at the beginning, where um, even among, you know, Ironclad and Aurelius communities, um, it's a whole new group of people I see in those discords and just kind of bringing your guys' attention to, um, you know, popping over there if you haven't already. Like, even there, um, it's not all the same people. So um, it's a brand new audience, especially on ETH mainnet. Um, and our community is like, our core Oath community is pretty small, you know? And that's that's kind of a weapon where... Um, a rebrand does exactly what it's supposed to do, which is um, sort of give us like a fresh start um, on a new network and bring in a lot of new people who will, for the first time, be experiencing our tech and um, interacting with us um, totally without any sort of um, baggage or any any of that um, that stuff. So uh, yeah. Um, Good point and very very excited um sorry for edging you all <laughs> um, that's right Jesse, new friends <laughs> new friends indeed yeah that's why we're, we're all here anyways a little bit yeah believe it or not yeah. we're 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 really good at this uh and it helps a lot when <laughs> uh you don't have uh years of baggage weighing you down um but yeah you know i'm i'm Looking forward to it, it's kind of like uh, you know s six to nine months of of pure pain testing everybody's patience, uh, but I think we can kind of pick up um, where we left off, like you know early in 2023, uh, and and keep the ball rolling. Um, so should be honestly a great experience for everyone. Obviously, uh, our whole team is is motivated to make this a huge success and. You know, a big a big focus is you know um, we we're very we don't see like oath and grain as you know baggage or whatever. It's kind of like uh, even mm. though that's kind of what we're we're saying. It's it, it's as if we had just run like a, a three year mm. points program, finding you know some of the best people in Web three, and and now we can you know launch our ultimate vision as you know the biggest en DeFi engineering firm in the space uh you know as a hugely connected group of people we can just totally uh implement that vision um in a way that's super clean um and and it's not just kind of uh it, right now our ecosystem is it's kind of like a mishmash of ideas uh of course like long term the idea is oh you know these are going to converge but under the oath and grain paradigm, it would have taken a long time for them to to converge, um, and and you know to to work together and kind of settle in. But now it's like, oh wow, 
it, we can just skip over six to nine months of like <laughs> more uh, agony and, and jostling and trying to find a way to fit. Um, so it, it's like, yeah. uh, you know, this, is, this was a Harvard conducted experimental points program. Um, and now <laughs> uh, we're using it to launch the best token of all time. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. And the collective experience um, that the team has now is like insane. And that, I don't know, it's a pretty, the, you know, those couple years, um, the experience is invaluable, if, if nothing else. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty rare that in any industry, um, a team of new people will come out and just like, you know, their trajectory is just like perfect, uh, you know, linear line upwards, positive slope, you know, to the moon. Um, oh, so yeah. Uh, anyways, all what Justin said um, and very exciting. And with that, I have another thing to share. Uh, and for this, um, it's going to be a full screen image. Can you believe it? Um, Whoa. And I do, <laughs> I do kind of wish that Eidolon was here. Um, he couldn't make it, um, but something that Eidolon has been working on, um, is another chapter. So, uh, Which can't rank? say too much, just, just a bit of, of just a teaser. Um, <laughs> yeah, which one indeed? Uh, here we go. I got the go ahead. Okay. Is this working? Oh God. Hold, hold on. Sorry guys. It? That's not the right. Okay, wait, is that working? There we go. Uh, okay, there's still the bar at the top. And try to as well paste the image in the events chat. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's there. <laughs> what? Well, I don't I even know how there. you do this, dude. Uh, yeah, how do you wield a computer like this, dude? <laughs> like... <All right. laughs> okay, it's being pasted in the... Let me see that. They say if... Uh, they say if your founder is a 10xer and your CFO is a 0.5xer, then you're going to be a unicorn. And uh, you do, you are studying accounting, right? No, no economics. <laughs> ah, well, pretty similar. Economics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's somewhat, somewhat, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah, my degree is done on Monday officially. So that's really exciting. Dude, um, I can't wait to tell you about. Uh, well, never mind. We'll save that. <laughs> no, I was just, I was just secret. like, I was just, I just hopped in the marketing meeting today, and it made me really happy. I just want to, I'm just ready to upload my brain to the conclave consciousness, um, and uh, get going. Anyways, guys, this is Glyph. Um, this is a new chapter on Fraxtal. Um. It looks really sick. Uh, I don't know how much I can say much, but the tech, you guys know the tech. Um, and the tech. this is something that's been worked on. The tech is... Um, is this will be Aurelius PID tech. controlled, I guess, is the most uh, important. It's Aurelius tech with PID that. controllers for interest-bearing assets. It is, that, it's Fraxtal's is native credit layer, dude. It's Fraxtal's native credit layer. Didn't you know? I did. Know. You didn't I know. To remember the, now you do. the wording. Now you do. <laughs> Braxel's native credit layer. Um, <laughs> and, and the um, PID, if you remember, that's what uh, Yubi was talking about in a previous yeah. half, right? That's exactly the that's exactly the wording that Yubi said. Glyph is going to pid pill everybody. Pid pill. Yeah. Um, pid pill. That's a good image. I'm glad you came loaded up with the images today, Charles. Uh, are These you are though? Because should uh, we show? You know, it's been pretty janky. We the could probably, we could really probably, nice. we could debut a chapter probably every town hall for the next like five town halls if we really wanted. If we try every hard. single. Samson, I'm posting it again in the chat, Samson. Um... There you go. Um, yeah, and this makes me really excited, especially because uh, Rabbi just supported 
just supported Fraxel. So that's cool. I'm a Rabbi user. Um, and I just bridged over. So I'm kind of late to the party, but not late to this Sorry. party. Uh, so I will be literally depositor number one in, in Glyph. Um, good luck. Yeah, I don't me. think anybody is late to the Fraxel party at the moment. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think they've got a ways to go before uh, they reach the mid game. But um, I'm too tuned in. I'm too. I'm just seeing John steps too much. Um, that guy's like the Fraxel Chad. Um, but yeah. yeah, and that actually is is like the most exciting thing. Um, is that being one of the first movers on chains like Mode and on Fraxel? um allows you to fill the native credit layer spot um without any sort of hyperbole it's like you you know seeing the fruits of ironclad's labor um and now it being one of the top protocols on mode um this is like this is the advantage of going to a chain like fractal like mode over something like arbitrum where you know there's trade-offs to every chain but um, with a newer network, you can penetrate just so much more easily. It's like uh, the friction to to attracting all their users is just like way, way smoother. Um, so, yeah, super exciting. And I really like their incentive me mechanism flocks. And we all know how based the Frax team is. So um, if they can really... <clears throat> Excuse me. If they can really drum up some some activity and some hype, um, that's another massive win um, for the for the ecosystem. The Barrack Chain chapter is going to be uh, uh, dude. Dope. <laughs> More alpha. Hopefully, Jesus. Barrack Chain. Yeah. Uh, if it if it has a pulse. If it has a pulse and at least nine figures of funding, then you better believe we'll be there. <laughs> Josh is a business baby. I'm familiar with the with the proof of liquidity concept? I need to do some research. I'm kind of I've like heard the term around, um, but I can I, I can really pull you all on proof of the... liquidity if you want. Let's go. Please do. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, proof of liquidity is all about. Uh, the BGT token. So there's the Barra token and there's the BGT token. Uh, so the BGT token is essentially a staking token or similar uh, that you get by converting Barra token. So it's like a Barra token liquidity sink. And what you get with the BGT token is you get to uh, allocate the incentives to apps on the chain. Um, so it's essentially a way to automate, uh, you know, developer incentive allocation and it can be either based on certain heuristics uh or it can be just like you know i have a bunch of bearer tokens or i bought a bunch of bearer tokens i'm going to convert it to bgt and start to to direct incentives on chain um so basically our goal is to create an app that is so cool that uh, people really want to allocate to it. Um, and you know we know some of the Barachain founders and, and Barachain team members. Uh, and I would say the big goal for us there is creating like a, a massive Barra slash BGT flywheel wherein we can accumulate a ton of this Barra, turn it into BGT, and incentivize um, everything we're doing to infinity and beyond. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, it should be tons of fun to be honest. It's like an interesting thing because we go so broad, um, is we can kind of take risks in terms of branding, messaging approach, you know, how we iterate, how we kind of fit into the market. Um, because, you know, if, if one chapter flops, then, okay, we have two options. We can... Uh, re-roll it or we can just you know take the l and there's plenty more uh where that came from um so with bear chain it's like okay this is a chain that is decidedly unprofessional uh and and with the mandate being unprofessionalism um you know it gives us a lot of interesting ways to to cook uh so yeah it's gonna be dope 
Yeah, BTC chapter. Oh, that's really right. sick. There's there's nothing off the table. But yeah, it it's like they're automating uh, developer incentive distribution. So it's like instead yeah, yeah. of just focusing on the nodes, they're focusing on actual ecosystem participants, which I think is uh, really smart. It's like adding a, a third dimension um, to the ecosystem incentive strategy. Yeah. So the the like validation of transactions is includes all token holders essentially. It, well, if you have BGT, right? So you need to you need to basically oh. uh, lock your Bera to get BGT or similar. Yeah. I had it explained to me by one of their team members. I don't know if it's totally accurate. But you'd assume so. You'd assume so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> damn. Yeah, I I wonder when they're launching because I mean, you know, maybe you have some insight there that you can't share, but um no, I've been aware idea. of their like props to their their marketing team because I've been aware of their memes. Like I didn't even know that they were a network. Like I was I was like aware of them and I just like didn't really do any research or anything. Um, but I just followed their memes and was like laughing along and I was like, I don't even know what this is. It's like some weird, like, I thought it was a joke for a while, but damn, I mean, it, it got me kind of hooked. And then, um, it definitely like the prevalence of their memes definitely drove me to like, okay, let's see what's going on here. Kind of. Yeah. Um, but that's their, their marketing approach has been pretty genius and they, they, they throw like huge events. I saw this Matt. They went to like some. I think they went to what was the last big crypto conference? Um, but they had like some Nibera? big like, DJ show concert, and they all put like bear heads on. Um, anyways, it seems like a pretty seems like a pretty base team. Um, Didn't they have so... a bikini babes or something going on at one of their events? Yeah, I think they hired models, and people were not that happy about it, if I recall. Oh, okay. <laughs> People hate beautiful women in crypto. I hate beautiful women. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw Charles <laughs> saying some really hateful things uh, on on Twitter about it. <laughs> yeah, no. They should make. Uh, I on Twitter. They should make a blockchain that is based on Olive Garden breadsticks. How would that work? Proof of proof of breadstick. Um, maybe. Uh, it's validated by like staking Olive Garden receipts, just to prove that you're a man of good taste. Okay. And a man of good taste would never uh, <laughs> yeah. rug billions of dollars. I think a guy running an Olive Garden is probably one of the more likely ruggers out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, the breadsticks are unlimited. Coop's right, so it's inflationary as well. Well, think about it. Like, with unlimited breadsticks, that's literally like you've solved. Not only have you solved world hunger, but you've solved poverty, global poverty, because you know you can start to create a breadstick economy. And if if we're in a post scarcity world, thanks to unlimited breadsticks, um, there we go. Bro, I think uh, you might be hungry. I, I, dude, I'm so hungry. I sw <laughs> like, I'm uh, maybe responding to Ash KC. What's the plan regarding chapters on bigger L2s? Um, so, Ash, right now, one of the biggest things we're doing is positioning ourselves to be early to market on some of these like super long tail uh, chains with a lot of funding and, and a lot of room for collaboration. There aren't really a lot of DeFi developers out in the universe, and our team probably makes up like, a double digit percent of the whole, you know, DeFi engineering market. Maybe that's uh, overstating it, but, um, you know, uh, we are trying to make up for time lost, uh, you know, with, with Oath and Grain on life support by getting in early on the growth curve for a lot of these chains. And that's to say, uh, we believe with the bigger L2s, they're not going anywhere. Um, so one of the plans for, uh, Arbitrum, like we have close to a million dollars of VE RAM. Um, so obviously our, our eyes are locked there times a million. 
we're working on some really cool deals with Optimism right now and don't want to muddy the waters there. Um, and Arbitrum is not going anywhere. And and with Blast, uh, it's uh, a, a similar mindset. Blast isn't going to go anywhere, but you know, in onboarding people to Ironclad from Blast, and Ironclad has has been totally killing it. If if you're not paying attention, but um, uh, we we realize that developers and users both hate working on Blast. Um, so what we're probably going to do is we're going to let the airdrop pan out. Uh, we're going to let the capital start flowing. We're going to see where uh, you know things fall after their initial airdrop, and then we will figure out kind of our place. We actually have a whole Blast brand. We have like uh, you know a Blast go to market strategy in the works. Um, it's just not a place where we really want to be at the moment. Uh, and and mode, we feel like right now we're the number three native application on mode. And I'll tell you, you know, just based on our private market activity, um, we're probably going to be number two or, or number one within the next six to 12 months. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're really kind of getting gangster with it uh, on that front. And base, of course, um, the, the deal that I'm talking about with Optimism will open the door uh, on base. And then, and then obviously Fraxtel will just take on the whole super chain. Uh, but yeah, uh, Jesse, it's like base. Uh, you'll see what we're doing on base. Um, uh, once you see kind of w what we've been cooking up, uh, it'll make a lot of sense, uh, I think. So, what yeah, are we doing on base? The shadows are just going to keep coming. It, it, every chain will have its time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can, we can, like, right now, scaling out the marketing is uh, the biggest thing we're doing. Like, and, and there's a whole UI, UX overhaul. Uh, the, the app you see on Ironclad is basically, like, we're in the process of, of integrating um, Ethos Reserve Tech. That'll be the home of, of Granary V2. Right now, it looks kind of simplistic because it is, because it's, it's more of an engineering backend architectural effort. But it's it's undergoing a massive UI UX overhaul at the moment. And once that's done, it'll free up a lot of design uh, resources so that we can uh, accelerate on the marketing end. Um, oh yeah, ZK, oh yeah, Pluck. <laughs> uh, ZKVM, we're just waiting on them to, to fix their technical problems. But the grant is, is in the bank and, and Pluck is ready to go. Uh, we're talking to, to stakeholders on that front. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's like speed there's a world of opportunity up. right now. Yeah, we can we can this we can like scale at an SAS level. Just, yeah, yeah. This launch and implementation is like um, extremely fast, um, extremely simple. Um, yeah, the the scaling the marketing is probably like arguably harder. I mean, I'm not an engineer, so I wouldn't know, but. Um, no, it is. Yeah, it's like you can't. Yeah. You can't like scaling the branding, the marketing, something. the reach. Yeah, yeah. It's like I was just gonna start to close this out and allow you to get some food, um, or we just ramble. Oh, I mean, I'll I'll still be working minutes. for an hour or so probably, but uh, yeah, we can we can close this out. The cops are out here; they need to kill me, which is cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thanks everybody for yeah. coming. I I know. I didn't, you know, pull infinite people in here or whatever, but uh, nice to have everybody That's listening. All good. And, yeah, I will never run. Just to chat. I'm happy I was able to um, share a couple of things, even though I completely botched the presentation. Um, but the recording will look really nice. And uh, get excited, folks. No chain, no EVM chain is off the table. Um, so Fraxel okay, in the works. Safe. Um, Bear chain. I was just like reading about bear chain while you were talking, and that's really nice. exciting. Um, cool. I see now why they can't be an L two because they need a validator set, which I was yeah. wondering before why they couldn't just be an L two. But anyways, well, you um, can you like cool. you can just have people st stake in smart contracts or whatever. Like you don't need a validator set. They, yeah. The reason the reason you don't spin up an L2 is because you get the VC markup if you are like your own custom L1 architecture. Um, so the, if if they were an L2, they wouldn't have been able to raise a hundred million dollars. 
Yeah, fair. Yeah. Isn't that just an extra layer of risk also, though, if they're just having people, if they're holding all the stake in smart contracts? Okay. Um, I mean, I guess, but... Not really? Okay. Uh, notice there hasn't been a, a huge smart contract exploit in quite a while. Um, Don't jinx it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of it a lot of it is just like cryptography and stuff for infrastructure. Um, mm. But yeah, I digress. Cool. All right, well, thanks for coming, y'all. Um, the chat was on fire. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, Beavis. Thanks, Corval. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Um, onwards and upwards. Up only. Yeah, guys, it may, be sure to grab your Olive Garden um, breadsticks and uh, close out your digits. Or when's our date for when? When should when should people close out their digits, Charles? Never. Uh, there will be an official um, announcement coming uh, in the next couple days, um, but the rough date is a month from now. Uh, so mm. within the next month, uh, think about closing out your digit positions, but there will be a lot of announcements, a lot of time to do so. Um, and we'll make sure that everybody's aware, uh, of when it actually is. So uh, I'll, I'll DM yeah. the bad news to Caesar. Caesar. There you go, Jesse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, all right. Yeah. See you, everybody. Cool. Thanks guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.